Access to light is the great problem here. Those plants that can command the surface can rule the lake, and none does so on a greater scale and more aggressively than this, the giant Amazon water lily. Its gigantic leaves are armored with spines that protect them against any fish that might try to make a meal of them. Their huge expanse is kept outstretched and floating on the surface by a lattice of buoyant air-filled struts. The crinkles in the surface swiftly flatten out as the leaf expands to its full size. The edges are turned up so that the leaf can shoulder aside any competition. Fully grown, a single leaf is six feet across. Virtually no other plants can live in the black shaded water beneath these leaves. They cover the surface so completely and the support of their airfield girders is so effective that birds, most famously the lily trotter, can spend their entire lives walking around on them, collecting insects. The giant lily's flowers are on an equally monumental scale. They're about a foot across. The life of any one bloom is short. It opens in the evening and gives off a strong perfume. During the night, it closes and it stays closed for the whole of the next day, slowly flushing pink. On its second evening, it opens again. Then it closes for the last time. Why does it behave in this extraordinary way? It's a neat way of avoiding any chance of being fertilized by its own pollen. The perfume it produces on its first evening attracts beetles. They bring with them pollen from other lilies, so this flower is about to be fertilized. But then the lily closes its petals. The beetles will be held captive inside for 24 hours. The following evening, the beautiful prison opens its gates and the inmates are free to go. The flower has showered the beetles with its own pollen during their long stay. Now red and odorless, the flower is no longer attractive to beetles, so they'll go in search of white flowers on another plant, carrying the pollen and bringing about cross-fertilization. Its mission completed, the flower withdraws back to its watery world.